Hello everyone, this is Preeti. We are here with the another question of exercise 6.2, page number 103, question number 3. In the figure 6.30, if AB is parallel to CD and EF is perpendicular on CD and the angle GED, angle GED, this one, this is equal to 126. Now find the angle AGE, angle GEF and the angle F G E. Now for the angle G E F, angle G E F is equal to angle G E D. That means this one minus F E D. Angle F E D. As we know that this is the perpendicular, so this is the right angle. So this angle is 90 degree. Now 126 as given in the equation minus 90 degree. Now we will subtract it. So the angle GEF is equal to 36. Now comes to the next angle. The next angle AGE. Now we want this angle. Now the line GE is the transversal. Now we will write this statement. Since AB is parallel to CD and GE is transversal. So the angle GED is equal to angle AG. E. This one is equal to this one. So we will write here they are the alternate interior angles. We will write here alternate interior angles. So angle GE is 126. So angle AGE is also 126. Angle AGE is equal to 126 degree. So we have find AGE and the angle GEF. Now we have to find out angle FGE. So FGE. This angle. Now we will write angle AGE plus angle this angle plus this angle. This is the angle FGE is equal to 180. Why? Because this is a linear pair. Now angle AGE we already know 126 plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degree. Now angle FGE is equal to 180 degree minus 126 now 180 minus 126 4 7 minus 2 is 5 so it is 54 degree now angle F G E is equal to 54 degree this is the question number 3 in the next video we are going to start with the question number 